Kan shalom, o praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth for sincerity. So we got the Pope Francis who declares child rapists as God's chosen people. So here we got the Pope Francis known in the scriptures as uh, the false prophet. It's linked on to the Vatican. It says Pope Francis has declared that child rapists are God's chosen people and has urged Christians to treat pedophiles with the love and respect they deserve. Yes, really. The pontiff made his outlandish remarks last month during a private meeting with a group of Jesuit priests in Hungary and were published Tuesday by La Civilta Cattolica, an Italian Jesuit journal. It is how do we how do we approach how do we talk to those abusers for whom we feel revulsion? Yes, they too are the children of the Most High. But how can you love them? Francis told his fellow priests. You know, and this is that misunderstanding that people have and that is being pushed all over the globe where they turn things into how they view them or how they want people to believe. You know, the statement that is being made like, how do we love them? As if the Most High shows love towards those wicked evildoers, man. Say, God loves pedophiles. That's not true. The Heavenly Father does not love pedophiles, man. A pedophile is a, a pedophile is an, is an, is a gruesome sinner who is committing abominations, man. It says the 86-year-old leader of the Roman Catholic Church was responding to a question from a Hungarian a Jesuit who asked, the gospel asks us to love, but how do we love at the same time people who have experienced abuse and their abuses? So I want to quickly show you the meaning of the word love according to the script. So in the book of 1 John 5 verse 3, for the love, for this is the love of the most, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. You know, this is love. So when you speak about love and you, and you look towards a pedophile, a pedophile is not keeping the commandments of the Most High. You know, because you, you, it is unlawful to do anything like that unto a child. That is an abomination in the script. So they're not walking in love. They're not keeping the commandments. The scripture says that is an abomination. And the Lord hates all abominations. He that love the Heavenly Father will not... Will not Will not uh, will not love these uh, these abominations either. It says the Pope acknowledged that the answer that the answer to this powerful question was not easily at all. It's very easy, but when you turn and twist things and make it acceptable for yourself, because those who are justifying this type of wickedness are also occupied in these horrible uh, sexual uh, predator acts. It says was to be condemned, but as a brother still deceiving of love and care. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, He that doeth the will is my mother. Here in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 12. And a pedophile is not doing the will of the Most High, so a pedophile, a sodomite, a murderer, anyone who's breaking the laws of the Most High is not your brother, is not, is not, belongs not onto the Most High, it has no part in the Most High. It says, let me see where it is, here, Matthew 12, verse, um, verse 46, while he had talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without him, desiring to speak with him, then one said unto him, behold, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he, this is the Redeemer, he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hands towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So those that are doers of the word, not hearers, not only saying like, yeah, I accept it, I believe, I love, I love the Most High, I care about His gospel, I care about His message, I love Him too. No, 
you love the most high by walking in his ways by being by being the fulfilling of the commandments that is that is the way of love is it in the book of first john first john 2 it says in first john chapter 2 verse 3 it says and hereby we know hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments he that said i know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoso keep it his word in him fairly is the love of the most high perfected hereby we know that we are in him he that said he abided in me ought himself also so to walk even as he walked you see so it's not about merely saying that you know the most high or you believe in him you got to walk in his instructions and part of his instructions is you got to walk in holiness you got to walk in a way that is according to the script and separated from the separated from this wicked world because the world is giving into the hand of the wicked boom so let me see there's a logic a form of loving the enemy that is also explained in this way he added and that it, and it's not easy to understand and to live without the abuser is an enemy you see so but people twist twist scriptures they don't understand the meaning of scriptures so now because of a lack of understanding they're looking for ways to justify and to accept to to um to justify wickedness because the most high is not down with that man it says in the book of wisdom of solomon and this is what you mainly will find by with those that are in uh in a catholic church or you know modern day christians that just don't understand what is written in the script but they just keep talking and repeating and talking about love 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 but there's a balance there's a balance in everything on this earth you got to understand what to love and what to what to hate what needs to be corrected what is despised what is what is being deemed abominable in the eyes of the most high it says in the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 14 verse 9 for the ungodly and his ungodliness both are hateful like unto the most high so a sinner a pedophile in this case and the act of pedophilia is the same in the eyes of the most high it is there's no there's no separatism between those things a pedophile who is committing pedophilia acts the lord is not going to be in a way like oh you you're a pedophile who's committing the act i hate the act but you as a person the person who's committing the act i don't i don't hate you i love you that doesn't make sense you see and that's that's what these these that's what these false leaders these these deceitful teachers are trying to put into the mind of the people and if you if you fall for it you you will justify the wicked the book of prophet 17 verse 15 he that justified the wicked and he that condemned the just even they both are an abomination to the lord so if you fall for that deceitful trickery by thinking that god also loves those who do wickedness upon this earth you know because the wicked is the person that was created to do wickedness east of edom and then you have all people that are just conforming themselves onto the wicked deeds of the wicked so if you if you justify the wicked person that is an abomination but also if you condemn the just that will make a video showing that pedophilia is not allowed is not is not acceptable with the most high and that this thing that that pope francis is pushing over here this is this is this is a, this is an abominable act of trying to lure people in thinking that you gotta you gotta accept them and and show them love the way of how we partner if, if even if you want to go into the meaning of the word love the love would be the correction you telling them that if they don't get right with the most high that the most high will judge them that is that is the love that needs to be extended towards these type of creatures not justifying it and, and making it seem as if as if what they do is acceptable the book of isaiah chapter 58 verse 1 cry aloud and spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shew my people their transgressions in the house of jacob their sins so lift up your voice point out what they do where they wrongs where the wrongdoings are 
and tell them that if they don't get right with the Most High, that the Lord is going to destroy them, man. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 16. Repent, get right. You know, stop doing the wickedness and turn back to the Most High, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So the warning goes out first. The correction and the instruction comes out. That is the mercy of the Heavenly Father. You know, and if, and if our people take heed unto these things, they can be safe and protected from the judgment that is coming after the warning, 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 warning. You know, then the destruction comes. The moment of cleaning up all that is broken contrary unto the way of the Most High. So it says, while the Pope was talking about sexual abuse, uh, uh, with large the subtext to the answer is the staggering scandal that's brought the Catholic Church involving generations of pedophile priests uh, abusing hundreds of thousands of children all over the world. Uh, these, those those priests, they need to be, they had to be judged. You know, if you if you righteous leader, a righteous leader, if you respect the ways of the Most High, then those had to be had to be punished. But that is not happening because wicked, there are more wicked rulers. There's more wickedness on this earth instead of righteousness in the book of uh, 1 John chapter 5. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse... Um, let me see where it is. Boom, 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 bear with me. 19. Yeah. Let me start from verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of the Most High sinneth not, but he that is begotten of the Most High keepeth himself, and that wicked one uh, uh, toucheth him not. You see, so if you truly are born again and you have the Spirit inside of you, you're not going to sin willfully. You know, you're going to make mistakes. You might you might buy something which might have something uh, uh, unclean on it, but it was without your, your, uh, um, your foreknowledge. You know, and then when you see or notice it, or the most I might reveal it in a dream unto you, you repent from it. So you're not gonna sin willfully. You're not gonna you're not gonna teach people and say things like, uh, um, "You gotta love pedophilia," and you're gonna make it seem as if the heavenly Father does not hate it, and that the heavenly Father will not punish you for for doing such things. You know, and especially not in the spirit of guiding and teaching people to to love those. Who are, who, are, who are performing wickedness upon this earth. That is just crazy, man. It says, and we know that we are of the most high and the whole world light in wickedness. Exactly, because this earth, this wicked empire we're in right now, is giving into the hand of the wicked. Esau Edom is ruling. You know, these, these, uh, these creatures are ruling the earth today together with, um, how you say it? together with, uh, with the religious establishment upon this earth. Boom, so you have 150 Catholics. Let me just jump a little bit through it, man. Baltimore molested some 600 children, mostly with impunity over the course of 80 years. So this thing has been going on for quite some time. And you, you best believe that Pope Francis himself is also involved with these type of wicked things, man. The Bible says that which is highly esteemed. Highly esteemed. That's why this madness is going on for quite some time. The book of Luke chapter 16 verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourself before men. But the most I know with your heart. The same thing is what Pope Francis is doing today. The things that those priests did before. And which he does. They trying to justify their wickedness before men. But the most I know is their mind. He knows them inside out. It says, for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. The higher you want to go up in this wicked empire, the more corrupt and the more abominable the things are that they do. And they will always protect each other. They got the judges in their pocket. You know, it says in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 3, Why dost thou shew me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance for spoiling and violence are before me? And they are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth, for the wicked doth compare about the righteous, and therefore wrong judgment proceeded. So there are more evildoers upon this earth, evildoers in high places, evildoers are the ones that are supposed to judge righteously, 
and they will judge in favor for their friends because you know they got they got people in high places friends in high places that do these things that are also involved with these criminal things so they decriminalize the act of 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 uh, molesting and abusing children and make it less uh, uh, harsh punishable when they do these things man which means they're justifying it it says here but look at look at what this man says when you hear what abuses leaves in the hearts of abused people the impression you get is very powerful Francis told this fellow Jesuits during the April 29 meeting in Budapest even talking to the abusers in false revulsions it's not easy you gotta have a revulsion you gotta have disgust because the most high is disgust you know don't don't let anyone tell you that when you have that feeling that fiery hate towards that you that vehemently uh, 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 going up against uh, uh, all those abominations don't let anybody tell you that your your feelings are wrong because that is a righteous it's a, it's a righteous uh, emotion you know the book of uh, psalms 139 verse 19 surely thou would slay the wicked o yahweh depart from me therefore all you bloody men the lord is going to kill them is what the scripture says because they bloody men bloody first of all by the the destruction and blood blood is not only by the way of truly 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 slaying killing somebody man blood already by the way of of abusing sexually abusing spiritually mentally abusing that's all also part of of being bloody the damage that is being done onto children causes many of them to commit suicide you know and the spiritual let's not even let's not even uh, uh, um, as we as we see all these things we could also focus on the spiritual damage that is being done unto unto those children man it says for they speak against thee wickedly and thine enemies take thy name in vain do not i hate them o lord that hate thee and i may not grieve with those that rise up against thee i hate them with perfect hatred i count them mine enemies this is what the script says the bible does not say love them love them no the bible says hate those that are doing the wrong there's balance the book of amos chapter 5 amos chapter 5 verse um verse 14 seek good and not evil that ye may live and so the lord uh the power of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the lord power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of joseph so don't fall for their trickery satan satan comes in many ways towards the people and one of the tactics that satan will use is your desire and your love which a lot of people have a misunderstanding of love they think love means the acceptance and the allowing of everything embracing and taking and going along with everything so satan will use and satan wants you to accept wickedness and wrongdoing in the name of love that's how satan also comes towards the people and if you if you're not built if you're not aware of how they operate then you will fall for these things man it says but they, then he says this but they are god's children too crazy he noted referring to sexual predators they deserve punishment but they also deserve pastoral care how do we provide that no it's not easy the pastoral care is very clear you tell you tell them what is going to happen with them for what they have done for what for, for, for what type of damage they have caused onto 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 children man you know the book of uh, the book of Acts chapter three was it three nineteen? It says, "Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out." When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and He shall send you Hawishai Mashiach, which before was preached unto you. It says, "Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restu restitution of all things." which the most high had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began so we will warn you and we will tell you about your actions you know when you when you do things like that the lord is going to bring it into judgment you know and depending if you have remorse for what you have caused on somebody the heavenly father can forgive you and you got to change your ways from doing those things that is what the most High wants to see but it does not mean like when somebody does so those things 
you just say like, well, you have done horrible things, but God still loves you. And you don't correct them. You don't warn them. You don't tell them that for what they have done, the Lord will judge them. You will be destroyed for that. Unless they have, unless you repent, unless you show, show that regret, that remorse, and you confess unto the Most High. And you change your ways. You stop doing those things and you're walking in the ways of the Most High. It says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 25, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done, and there is no respect of persons. You do things, then the Lord will judge you for that. There's no there's no favor or, or I like you more because you got a lot of money. Oh no, because you in the high seat and the whole world believes and thinks that you are a holy man of the heavenly father. Now I will not judge you. The Lord, the Lord will bring judgment also on that on that wicked Pope Francis that may have a high position. And, and trick people to believe and to think that this man is a man of the Lord. He ain't no man of the Lord, man. It says, During his ten years of his throne, St. Peter in the Vatican Francis had created a commission on child molestation prevention and has tightened the church laws addressing clerical sexual abuse. Man, this man is out of his mind, man. His, his ways of, of, of strengthening, tightening the law, that's crazy, man. But the, the pontiff efforts to redress the crisis have been hampered by the spate of high-profile resignations from the pontiff commissions for the protection of minors. Last week, Francis urged the remaining members of the panel to pursue a spirituality of reparation with the sexual abuse survivors. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then you have this dude saying, they are God's chosen people as well. <laughs> That's crazy. And they just do it, just, just like that. So I want to show you again, to the spirit when you speak about um, um, uh, the Roman power the Roman power of pyramid which actually speaks about um, let me see if I got the power this, this, this picture over here it's also known as the Trinity of the globalist control the left hand so-called Trinity which exists out of the Vatican City the city of London and Washington DC so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this out again this is in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. You know, and the dragon is referred to this power structure. Let me see where it is. Bear with me. Okay, this is the dragon. The dragon talking about NATO. And then you have America, America riding the beast. Which is, which is the, the mother harlot known in the scriptures. And then you have the ten horns. The ten horns on the beast represent Europe. You see? So you have you have a power structure which is actually uh, um, existing out of a different, um, how should I call it, entities. But they eventually they all work together. And America is the one that is guiding and steering and controlling everything. You know, the, the mastermind, so to say. And in this cup... This cup is filled with all the abominations, which is talking about the the philosophy, the doctrine, democracy, religion, idolatry, homosexuality, lies, adultery, the normalization of 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 doing things onto children and protecting it, and you know, in in the name of love, accepting and allowing everything. This that's all in this cup, and they feed and they give people to drink. In the same way, the Vatican. You know, the Pope is also linked onto this, which is part of the a spiritual establishment on this earth. It says, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So the false prophet is linked onto the Vatican, onto, onto, onto the Pope, you know, and it actually speaks about this. The so-called trinity of the globalist control of the Rothschilds. The Vatican City, which is the religious, the religious establishment from it. Then you have the city of London, which is the financial establishment. And then you have Washington D.C., which is the military uh, uh, establishment of these rulers. It says the empire of evil. It says here. Let me see if we can read this little piece over here. It says the city of London is a one sq mile secret country subject from the U.K. and it's the world's financial playground for the elites and, mo and money men of the world. Then you have the spiritual establishment, Vatican City is the spiritual capital of the world in the center of Rome, Italy and house 
Oh, this is the Pope. As you see, so this goes to the Pope, Vatican City. And then you have the military. This is the, the flag of the District of Columbia, which is a 10-mile secret state subject from the U.S. Constitution. It's in Washington, D.C. So these are the blood, the bloodthirsty, the bloodthirsty warmongers that are operating on this globe. So in verse 14, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Almighty, the Most High, the Almighty. So these these are right now working on this earth. It's sorcery. It's it's a it's a it's a pyramid a pyramid establishment. You know, a, tri a, trin a so called trinity. And their goal is about the establishment of the new world order, a totalitarian state. It says, Behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So you gotta watch continually. That's why we watch, we look at these articles, we cover these things, we warn people, we warn them over and over and over. We're letting you know. You know, uh, uh, Pope Francis is not a man of the Lord. This man, this man is a devil. He's a deceiver. He's leading people astray. And slowly but sure, people are waking up. But yet a lot of people will stick and stay, even though they can see the madness and the wickedness that is taking place. And they will be destroyed by the Lord because you're justifying the evil. You're justifying, you're agreeing with the evil on the globe. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 24. He that said unto the wicked, he that said unto Pope Francis, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. Yeah, because there are more, there are a lot of people that are well aware of the wickedness. You know, we in this truth, but there are more people that see, that understand, and that despise, that disgust it, that they know about all those, all those uh, pedophilia deeds and the way how they deal with the situation, how people are not being punished and judged for those crimes. How they are protecting each other how this madness still goes on how things publicly come out like the same the same madness with the dalai lama you really think that this is just a a, a, a small innocent accident this is this is their mind you know it's it's so normal and habitual for them that they do certain things in the open without truly really understanding that there are cameras things can things track and trace and being recorded which is causing for uproar and what is it that they say oh it was a mistake it wasn't like it wasn't meant like that it was just a joke man sticking out his tongue as the child to, to kiss him on his on his mouth sticking out his tongue and asking a child to suck on his tongue and being confronted when the people see and hear about it and they're just gonna say like man it was not that it was not like that it was just a joke no it's it's that spirit it's you them true colors being revealed and being 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 recorded on the camera that which they do in the secret being recorded and being brought open as they perform and portray themselves as if they are holy people man but they're not holy that's why the scripture says the lord the lord knows the heart it says but to them that rebuke him shall be the light and a good blessing shall come upon them you see and we we are correct and we are rebuking we're letting people know who they truly are and what will happen with them, man. In the book of uh, Proverbs 11, verse 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way, this is the light. So the Lord is not about loving and accepting everything. There's a balance in the mo with, with the Most High. Love the righteous and hate the evil. Those that are walking in wickedness, rebuke them. Tell them sternly what the Lord is going to do vehemently be against that wickedness and let them know that they will face the ultimate judge the lord the heavenly father's beloved son is an austere man trying to imagine how the most high fears the wickedness that is taking place on this globe and there you got a there you got a phony pope trying to portray the heavenly father as some joke as if the most high is looking down and 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 that he wants you to love those wicked uh, demonic creatures the only love that we extend is the love of the Most High. And the love that is being extended by the way of the Most High is by a stern rebuke. 
by by a vehemently despising and a hateful mind towards them that are doing the thing that is that is hateful in the eyes of the most high that is the love of the heavenly father not not bowing and shaking and greeting and embracing and accepting and saying god still loves you that is not of the most high the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 3 blessed is he that beat it and they that hear the words of his prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand so you gotta read and we keep reading we read we read so i might say y'all read too much you know i want to hear your answer i don't want to hear out of the bible no man you're going to hear everything which we teach comes out of the bible every question that you ask we're going to answer you based on the script because the prophecies are written in the script the word of the heavenly father is sure everything is it's plain and all will come to pass and time is at hand you know judgment judgment day the destruction of this empire the establishment of of the righteous kingdom is at hand it says john the seven john to the seven churches which are in asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before the throne and from yahweh shai mashiach who is the faithful witness the first begotten of the dead and the prince of kings of the earth Unto him that loved loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, only through the Redeemer, we got cleansed from our sins because we made mistakes in our past life. In our past life and in, in this twofold, you know, literally in your past life, but also your past life before you entered into this truth. Because you was born again when you entered into this truth. That's when your life began over again. It says, and had made us kings and priests, so we a nation of kings and priests, unto the Most High, and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever. Amen. So we, we, are, we are a nation of kings and priests. So when you go into uh, a priestly Levite uh, custom, which is mentioned over here, ordinance for the Levites. It says in uh, Ezekiel 44 verse 23, And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. That's our duty today. Because those in power, these people are not going to teach you the difference between the unclean and the clean. Or they might even say like, the Lord, the Lord, uh, the thing that they do is wrong. But then they want to say like, the, the act is wrong. But God loves the person that is performing or doing it, performing the act. You see? So they're not truly teaching you the difference between the holy and the unholy. They're trying to blend everything in and make it seem that God loves the holy and the unholy as well. By even making a statement that a child rape is God's chosen people. That's crazy. That is, that is insane. That is insane. You see? The book of Titus chapter 1 verse 15 Unto the pure all things are pure But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure But even their mind and conscience is defiled If you cannot separate the one from another If you can see and understand what darkness is and what represents light What is polluted, what is destruction, or what is healing and, 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 and edifying that you simply are not fit to lead people because you're going to lead people astray. You're going to lead them into destruction. And if your mind is in justifying wickedness, it truly, it truly resembles that a person must be occupied in doing those things which are deemed unlawful and wicked in order to justify it because you're justifying it with a reason. If you understand that something is truly wicked and wrong and you, you, you read the scriptures and you understand that the Most High is, is repulsive towards it, then your mind is going to be in the same way, being repulsive, you know, vehemently being against such abominations and not looking for ways to justifying it, man. It says, they profess they know the Most High. Pope Francis, those, those priests, those Catholic, those Catholic, those Jesuit clowns is how I call them. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, but in their actions, in what they teach and in what they, what they do themselves, they prove that they deny the most high being abominable and disobedient and unto all every good and unto every good work reprobates they reprobates they ain't, they ain't about the will of the most high you know a person can a person can talk much and can talk in a way which might 
might sound acceptable for people. You have this, this, this truly loving, loving thing. Like a person, a person might, a person might get, might get stupid by saying like, yeah, it really requires a certain, a certain powerful love to, to even extend love to those, to those people who have done those things by embracing them, by saying that God, you, God loves you too. By even making a statement that they are God's chosen people. Are you, do you know do you know how insane this is? You call you call a rapist, a child rapist, God's chosen people. That is insane. That is insane. The Bible says this, let me get this man. That is insane. In the book of Esther, eh? The book of Esther, chapter 16. This is this is this is insane, man. The book of uh, the book of Esther, chapter uh, sixteen, verse fifteen. But we find that the Jews, whom this wicked wretch had delivered to utter destruction, are no evil doers, but live by the most just laws, and that they be the children of the Most High and Most Mighty, living power, who had ordered the kingdom both unto us and to our progenitors in the most excellent manner. If we walk according to the most just law the most the most just laws of the most high and the most just part of the most just law is that you don't do anything like this pure wickedness unto a child man unto a child look look at look at how wicked and how demonic demonic this man looks and 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 grins smiles however you want to call it man you really think that this man is walking in the most just laws of the most high. He ain't. He ain't walking in it, man. He ain't walking in it. Where am I? Here. They they being abominable and disobedient. Disobedient to the word of the Lord. And unto every good work. Reprobates. That's what they are. They reprobates, man. The book of Second Chron uh, Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? The Lord says, separate yourself from these from these men and women that are walking in this way because they're walking contrary unto the cross. They're walking contrary unto what I tell them to do. They're walking contrary unto my word. So don't have fellowship with them. It says, and what communion had light with darkness? What, what does darkness have to do with light? Nothing. The only thing that we have to do to, with, with them as we got to tell them that what the Lord is going to do with them, the Lord is going to destroy them. The way how we, the way how we deal with darkness is we have to defend ourselves against the darkness because the dark, the dark side is warring against the workers of light. It says, in what concord had Christ with uh, Belial? Or what part had he that believed with the infidel? Yeah, what? There's, there are two separate parts. There are two polar opposites. You know, they, they go up against each other, man. What agreement had the temple of the Most High with idols? And for ye are the temple of the living power. As for the Most High had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their power and they shall be my people. If we walk in the way of the Most High. If we don't submit ourselves unto the ways of these idols and the trickery. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate. You see what the Lord says? Be separate. Separate yourself from the ways of this world. Don't fall for the trickery. Don't fall for the madness when, when the Pope Francis comes with statements like a child rapist is, all, is, is, is part of, the, of God's chosen people. Don't fall for the wickedness when they're trying to teach you that you got you to gotta love them, you got to embrace them, you got to accept them when they do these wicked things. Don't fall for it. You know? Be separate, say the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Separate yourself and don't get defiled by touching those unclean things, and the Lord will accept you and receive you. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, say the Lord Almighty. That's when you are one of his children, man. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11, for the grace of the Most High bring it salvation, uh, that bring it salvation that appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, denying all this wickedness that you see upon this earth, the whole rainbow 
alphabet coalition community that is being propagated on this earth the changing of kinds little children are being guided into into undergoing the destruction and the self-mutilation and becoming transformers like you separating yourself for all that wickedness and also speaking out against all that this actually facts in for your mind for 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 being here for for even witnessing how children have to grow up in this wicked society when you speak out righteously and you are vehemently against it that's the same spirit that the lord has towards this wicked empire man it says that we should live soberly not being clouded not winnowing along with any form of doctrine you know soberly not giving not giving over unto all these doctrines all these examples of wine and also literally not giving over unto wine being being drunk drinking excessively it is soberly as is a twofold it says righteously walking in the instructions of the heavenly father teaching the ways of the heavenly father fearing the most high which is which is which goes in hand in hand with being godly in this present world yeah because this world this present world is given into the hand of the wicked these these clowns are ruling the earth and they teaching the people all the things that go against the most high it says looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power in our savior yahweh shai mashiach this is this is our savior man yahweh shai is coming back and yahweh shai is not a caucasian yahweh shai is being depicted in the bible as a dark skin man with white woolly hair looking more like this he is coming back and he is coming back to bring judgment upon this earth anybody that is not walking right will be dealt with it says who gave himself for us for the children of israel that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works you see so and that's why we are zealous you're zealous of good works not zealous of evil works not zealous in 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 justifying evil works upon this earth no man the lord said in the book of romans let's get that the book of romans the book of romans chapter 1 verse um it speaks about those that are walking in the mind of reprobate 28 it says even as they did not like to retain the most high in the knowledge as they do as as the pope francis the most High gave them over to a reprobate mind they got a reprobate mind they act and they don't care about the most high they walk in contrary unto the heavenly father but yet they're talking about how they respect and how they fear and how they are supposed to be established as leaders in how to how to be connected with the heavenly father that that is that you, and you got many of them on this earth man it says to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit malignity whisperers backbiters haters of the most high despiteful proud boasters infamous of evil things and this is a crazy wicked of wicked ima imagination man you trying to come up and say that you gotta love you gotta love a, 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 a child vapors or make it even even make a statement to say that a child vapors child vapors are god's chosen people what when you say when you only listen and you read this article other words you're saying like those who do those things are the chosen people of the most high this is this is the promotion this is the promotion then this is the promotion of wickedness by saying by saying this man you are promoting wickedness man this is insane without understanding they are without understanding disobedient to parents yeah the father of spirits starting starting with the father of spirits but then you have parents in this society growing up raising being being amongst those catholics or in high places you know they they even give their child towards you know all those stars and all those things that they do in, in those in those celebrity um, environments without understanding covenant breakers and they are covenant breakers man they are unfaithful in the covenant with, with through the most high without natural affection without natural affection you know the natural or the natural affection a man with woman these these creatures are justifying a man with a child with a toddler with a baby men with men women with women men and animal you know 
the, the, hey, the, there's no, there are no boundaries with Esau in this wicked empire, man. And implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. This piece is very important. They that which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. This this is so, man, people need to understand what they do. You don't even have to be partaker of committing the act, which is deemed worthy by destruction, but your mind of letting people do these things, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. When you teach, a doctrine where when you say that those people need to be loved even though it's not easy you gotta love them because in your nature it's it's it, do, it doesn't feel right it's the same thing like how they need to teach people the acceptance and the normalization of all all those unnatural affections because it goes against your nature it goes against your natural instinct so when you when you teach somebody by saying how can you forgive or to forgive a predator or how to love a predator child predator it goes against all all your fibers everything that is inside of you but yet they're trying to mold you into the acceptance of it and when they have mold you in the acceptance of something like that that is the process of the desensitizing you from that which needs to be hated you need to have a re repulsive mind against it you know well if you if you if you read the bible and they read the Bible, they, they're repulsive towards the Bible. You see, so this place, this place is only occupied with the normalization and acceptance of, of the things that are actually an offense towards the Most High. And that's why the Lord is going to do this. The doom of the beast and the false prophet. This whole place will go up in smoke. It will be completely destroyed, burned down to the ground. The book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 20. And the beast was taken... And with him the false prophet, yeah, the, the Pope, Vatican City, and that brought miracles before him because they have deceived a lot of people. You know, these people that rule the globe, they use sorcery, they got all type of tactics, they got all type of tools, they got all type of knowledge, which all type of so-called wisdom, which they can use to manipulate and to control and to deceive or to use tyranny against the people, man. It says, which, which he deceived them that had received the mark, of the beast which is the microchip as we move him with a quick pace towards a cashless society you got the fed now you got all type of digital uh, currencies being pushed but eventually pretty soon the microchip will be pushed towards the people and them that worship his image which is the the philosophy the whole the whole system the establishment of the system what, what it stands for these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone, which is the nuclear destruction, the fire that will be will be caused by the nuclear missiles, mainly in America. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, and with sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Yeah, because the Lord is coming back, the white horse, and the white horse, the white horse is coming to clean up this earth. That's Yahweh the Redeemer. He is coming back, and he is coming to judge this wicked empire. You know, purity, holiness is coming upon this earth and everything that is wicked will be dealt with and only the righteous, only the elect will be saved from the destruction that is coming. Shalom.